Hi everybody, it is Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio here. Thank you for joining me tonight. If you were with me the last time we did a pizza pan uh, door hanger, we made this one right here. And I was just so happy with how that turned out. I thought it was really beautiful. That was made with using a sheet from an old calendar. I had this calendar from 2021 that had beautiful different pages in it. And this was just one of the numerous pages that was inside of there. And then I embellished it with some pretty little flowers around the outside and put a little hanger on it. And I thought it turned it out really cute. And I thought, well, I'd like to make another little uh, pie pan also, doing it a little bit differently maybe. Instead of using a, um, a calendar sheet, which I then had to sand around the edges and stuff. I remember, if you had watched also, I had made um, a watermelon door round. And that was with a, a napkin that I had used. And I checked it out, and that napkin is the exact size that I need to go on another pizza pan. So I thought, boy, that's perfect. Why not do that? I think that that'll turn out just great, too. I'm just pulling it up here. Let me turn that off real quick. There we go. That way, when you hop on, I'd love it if you'd say, hey, tell me where you're watching from. I always love when someone lets me know that they're there and also that I'm on the right page. There's a few different ones, and it's always right, you know, good to know that I'm in the right place. So anyway, this is what we had created the last time using that, this, this calendar sheet. This time, I'm going to do something that's very similar, yet just a little bit different. Thank you, Steve. I see that. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm going to have to get this out of the way. It's going to be showing. i got to move it down out of the way. Okay, that's all right. We'll just set that on the floor. You can kind of see what I've got going on here. I'm going to use the same kind of beads that I used last time. I'm going to use some hot glue to put that on. I've got the same little flowers out here, but I'm going to use them differently this time. I'm going to be using the wires. Ooh, that's something I forgot to get with me, a pair of wire cutters. I think there might be a pair right out here in the hall, but I'm going to need to get these wires off of here. But first, while I'm worrying about fighting with that, the first thing I want to do is show you what this is right here. This is the napkin, and it's perfect, the perfect size for this pizza pan. Now, I could do it a little bit differently. I could actually put it on the inside of the pizza pan instead of on the back side of the pizza pan, like this. And that would look a little different. Let me just throw this away. This is just pizza pan that I got at the Dollar Tree. So the dollar, it, it, well, it's a dollar and a quarter, but it's a dollar and a quarter for the pan itself, and then the, the dollar, the flowers, I got a little thing of flowers to go with it, and thought, well, we'll just use that too because it's the right colors, and I got some pretty uh, ribbons that I also got at the Dollar Tree that all have watermelon colors. So I thought that that was perfect to go with this also. So we're going to use a few different things. i got my hot glue done, uh, gun sitting down here on the floor too. Now I could put it on the inside like this, but actually I think it would probably fit better and be less wrinkled if I went ahead and put it on the outside like this. I just want to try to make sure that I get it in the right spot so some of the dark green will show around the top of it here because it's just a little bit bigger just slightly bigger and I'll have to put that down around the edges so we'll work on that first thing we need to do is get out the Mod Podge and put it all over here and let it get a chance to start drying before we try to iron on the napkin Oop, I gotta fight with this Mod Podge again there we go. Not too much of a fight this time. Yep, Steve got me a pair of wire cutters. That'll work. That's perfect. Thank you. You know what else I could use? One piece of parchment paper. Thank you. These will work. That's all I need, just something to cut those wires. And I'm going to use the parchment paper to put over the top of the napkin so that it doesn't put any markings on the napkin from off of my iron. Even though my iron is clean, I just want to make sure 
And I'm going to put the Mod Podge all the way around the sides of this here. Let me try and get this side. And I want a nice, even layer of it on here. Just a nice layer of that on there. That's wax paper. It's the parchment paper. It's right where the baggies are. Have it all in the area downstairs. Wax paper might work, but then it might just uh, put wax all over that napkin. So I haven't tried that. And even though I do a lot of experiments, I don't want to do that experiment at the moment. Because I'm just not sure how that would, how that would work out. Okay, so now we've got the Mod Podge all over the pizza pan, completely covered. And I'm just going to put that right there. And that's all we need with Mod Podge for now. We're just going to let that dry. Now, one thing you want to do when you have a napkin and you're going to work with a napkin and do something like that, one of the things you need to do is there's usually a layer on the back of your napkin. So you're going to want to peel that off. Thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. There we go. One slice of the parchment paper. So this napkin has a layer on it that I can see, and it's already half loose. So I can just peel that off. It's hanging on that one little spot right there. The fan's blowing. You know, blow it away. We'll just put this off to the side, and we can use that later. Now, I could put my my napkin down right on here and then go back and iron it after that dries too but it's more likely to get wrinkled if i do that so i'm going to wait for this to dry first and then iron it down another thing i'm going to do while we're waiting is i'm going to go ahead and take these wire cutters here and i'm just going to snip these wires right off of this flower because i'm going to use those as little curls, you can kind of see I've already curled one of them there, as little curls coming out of the top where I'm going to put a bow. We'll just hot glue those on there. And that ought to be plenty for that. We'll just put this down here to the side. Thank you, Steve, for bringing that up for me. That made it so much easier. Last time, I was doing it with a pair of scissors and then taking it and wrangling it back and forth, trying to get it to cut and break. Much, much easier to just take it and snip it with the wire cutters. Whew. Big difference. Big difference. So I'm going to take these little things, and I'm going to bend them around like that. See how that's kind of bent? So that it's going to look like like little curls. We're just going to take it from about that far because this will be hot glued on and then we'll have these little curls like what you would see from the watermelon leaves growing around the watermelons. And these little wires are perfect for that because I wouldn't be using them for anything else. Just throwing them away at this point. So we'll just use them for this kind of stuff. That's two wires that can be going down in that direction. Two curls. And then we'll make these. Going around and around this way. And you can make them curled in any direction you want. They don't have to be in any specific direction. I'm just making these just kind of going in little circles. shoot out underneath there. Maybe this one will go around this way. Instead of being curled, he's more of just kind of bent. A little curl at the end of him. So 
is sort of like that. Something simple. Doesn't have to be anything, anything, you know, in any particular shape. Just something simple. Okay, so then we've got our little wooden beads, and we're going to use the same wood beads that we used the last time. Waiting for that to dry right there in the middle. You can still see it right there. And I should have plenty enough. I hope I do. We're going to put a bow on the top of this one. So I'm just going to pull this loose right here. And this time we'll have to glue them down and then take the string out. Ooh, that one's got the string in it, doesn't it? Okay. Maybe I can take this one and tie that one onto this one while we're waiting on that to dry. And these little beads, I got these at the Dollar Tree too. They're just little crafter square little wooden beads, little square beads. two and tie them together. I'm going to snip that off. Yeah, we'll put an extra knot in that just for good measure. go to glue them, I'll just have to make sure I tuck that in there real good. There we go. Now it's on there. How much of this do we have here? Let's just see. Oh, we've got plenty. This will work out just fine. I'm going to cut the strings off, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. We'll do that after we get done with this other part here. Is this dry yet? Sure, doesn't look it, but it certainly is. Okay, so now we've got that part. It's dry. We're going to take our napkin. And we're going to place it where we want it to be on here. Pull it just a little bit. It's got just a little bit of tack to it. I can feel just a little bit of tackiness. About like that right there. And about like that right there. Okay, so that looks about right to me. We're going to take our parchment paper and sit it on the top of it. And then this is at the highest setting. We're going to work our way from the inside out. Just ironing it down through the parchment paper. And this should give us a very nice wrinkle-free adherence to the beets pan. Now last time we did it, we just did it with uh, with the iron and we just ironed right on top of that sheet. That sheet was much thicker. So with the sheet being much thicker, it's a little bit different ironing that than it is ironing the napkin. This napkin's very thin, very thin napkin. Okay, I gotta get it all the way around the edge here getting hot. I can feel that pizza pan. It's like it's cooking pizza. Okay, let me get this cord out of the way here. 
I need to go around the edge and see if I can iron it down. We'll see if this works. I'll be impressed if it does. All the way to the edge here. I'll tell you, it's hot. Be careful if you do something like this. This is hot. We'll see what it does around the edge when I get this off of here. I'm curious. Who knows? We're going to see. I got to get all the way around, though. I haven't got all the way around yet. A little bit over here. Quit getting my cord hung up on the table. Let's see what it does. did a pretty good job of that, didn't it? It's not completely straight, but it's pretty straight. Let's see, this needs to be done a little better right here. There, hopefully I've got enough Mod Podge all the way around the outside of it here. I'm going to press on that a little harder, trying to make sure that it really does stick on here. Not that rim, this rim in here. It a little bit. Get burned with the iron. sure I'm getting it all the way around. Giving it a really good firm. I hope it's not to be tearing up the napkin underneath. I don't think I am. I think it's just the paper. Okay. This little wrinkle right here. I'm going to go back around this edging. want to take this and spray it with uh, some um, acrylic clear coat, something along that line to protect it because uh, once water gets underneath it, it's going to start working its way off. So you want to spray it and protect it. You want to make sure first off that you've got it on here as good as you possibly can. Give it a day or so to just set up. Then get you some clear coat and spray it really, really well. Really well. And then you can feel pretty good about putting it out. It should last a while. Let's just get this little spot right here. And I think that's about as ironed on here as it can be. If it's not ironed on here now, there just wasn't enough Mod Podge for it, but I'm sure that there is. Okay, I'm going to turn that off, unplug it, and plug in my hot glue gun. Put that 
plug that right back. Get my glue sticks. Let's just set this down here to the side for now and let it cool off. Away from the cord. Don't want to burn up my cord. And get this plugged in. And this will take just a few moments to heat up. All right. We're having a very, very warm day today. 93 degrees is what they called for. I don't know if it's hotter than that or not, but it sure feels like it. Got the air on, but it's still, it's cranking. It's still pretty warm. All right. This looks like it is on. I'm looking at it, seeing if I can see any kind of wrinkles anywhere. I don't. Okay. I think that the top right here. Might as well do there. We just need the hot glue gun to heat up, and we're going to start that right in here. And just work on gluing those all the way around, just like we did with the other one. ties at the end of them, just turn that down at the bottom. There's a little bit of play in between them there. That's all right. And we're going to use all of them. there. Let's see, let's pull it a little more since that line goes right here. Let's kind of make that the middle of it right there. That's better. I like that. I think I like it like that. Let's see if we got hot yet. Nope, but we're getting there. May as well get another one of these out and be ready with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I don't think that that's going to work. Here we go. This one will do. Hopefully three of them will be enough. That looks like that's all I've got left up here. I know I've got more elsewhere, but I don't, I don't have any idea where at. I'll have to go look. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Just waiting on this to get hot. And then we're going to take these. We've got our little curly cues. We're going to put those in just a few different little areas on here. Growing out of our little pumpkin. Our pumpkin. I'm, I'm getting ready for fall, y'all. You're growing out of our watermelon. Jumping seasons. <laughs> I've been looking at fall stuff. There's lots of really pretty stuff. Lots of pretty stuff. I forget if I turned these to grow this way or that way or which way went where, but I'll put them about like that. Something like this. And then we'll put a bow pretty bow at the top of it. And we put some little curly cues on it and maybe a couple of leaves. And yeah, I know, they ain't watermelon leaves, but you know what? I think it'll look all right. I don't think it'll make much of a difference from the uh, from, from a view from a different area once you get the bow on the top of it. It'll just be greenery sticking out here next to the bow. And I think that'll be perfectly fine. It doesn't have to be, you know, exactly a watermelon leaf. Oop, looks like it's hot now. It's squirting it out over here on the table. Okay. Let's work ourselves this way. Let's start up right here. 
and just put a line there. I want to put this one to lay down. Try to get these going in the same direction here. Okay. Pick that up. Oop, getting it on the table. under him here. There. Maybe you. Well, get your finger in it over there. Dang thing's hot. <laughs> I'm over here getting burned. All right. That's the name of the game. You play with a hot glue gun. And it's like drinking hot coffee. You can expect it to be hot. All right. Now we've got those down. Let's give them a little extra pushing. Turn it a little bit more here. Push that a little bit, just a little bit. And push these down just a smidgen. That one's a little misshapen, but I don't think anybody's going to notice it. I noticed it because, of course, I'm here the one gluing it, but Ooh, got a little too much on the edge. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, let's pour a little bit up underneath there. Noticeable from a distance. Oh, maybe try to hear. Okay. Let's get that one up. I just got to do these two. All right. Now we've got that all the way around it. Of course, what the heck, right here at the bottom, this one's cockeyed. Crack it loose. There we go. So I tell you, that would bother me. It's got to be fixed. Flip that up. Put a little glob. There now. That's all it took to fix it. Just a little quick push it off and bend it up and do it over. Okay. So now we can just, actually I can just glue those on there, that's not going to hurt anything, just leave those strings right on it. Just put a little right there and just push this one right into that, I am not going to touch it, nope, nope, nope. that string right there. Just 
that one down in it too. Put a little blob right here. Press this string down in it. Pull that one over here and just press him down in there too. And that way I don't gotta cut that off. I can just leave those strings right on those beads and it won't make any kind of a difference. They'll be fine. Okay. So now let's get our ribbons. Let me get that pink. I got pink that's already open. And I think we're gonna start and put the pink There's the dark green I was thinking. I thought there was a dark green. I thought there was a dark green. There is. Cut this. Let's open this one. Now I'm just going to make a layered bow. It's a very simple, simple bow. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Jeannie. Yeah, I figure you are ready for fall. I know you, Jessica. Yeah, I'm ready for fall, too. I've been looking at a lot of the stuff, some really cool-looking stuff, too. So what I'm going to do for this bow is I'm going to make it, it's going to be a, a, a larger bow that gets smaller. So I want it to fill this gap. So it needs to go from here to here. So I'm going to cut it. Right here. We're going to take these two pieces, these two open pieces, and we're going to put them together like this. And then we're going to find the middle of that, press it down here. And glue this down. So I want the middle of it to be right here. So I'm going to literally, I'm going to glue it right on top of the napkin itself. So I'm going to put a line of glue right there. Put that down on there. I'm trying not to touch it, but of course I am. Of course I am. I'm touching it. Let's put another row of glue right here. I'm complaining about the 90s up here. I bet you got some 90s down in Florida too, don't you, Jeannie? I'm sure you do. But that's a different kind of 90s down there than it is up here. Today was just sweltering kind of hot. Just that kind of heat where it's just, ugh, hot. And I know you know what I'm talking about. Now we're going to go back to right where the middle was. And we're going to put another little line. And we're going to keep building this up, actually, is what we're doing. We're making a layered bow. So this is going to be this size. This is the middle. The next bow is going to be just like how this looks. Getting that stuff on my fingers. Except it's not going to be as long as this one. So we want it to be about this big. Using this lighter green color now. Gonna do the same thing. These two together. Find the middle of that area. Put a line of this. Slip down there. Try not to get burned. Ha ha. Laugh at yourself, because you know you're gonna get burned. <laughs> Press that down in there. Yes. <laughs> Use the scissors. 
Save your fingers. Oh, but then the scissors want to stick to it, and then I get I get aggravated with that too. Okay. Stick to yourself, thing. Don't make me touch it. There we go. Ooch. Do we need a little pink? He's going to be a little bit smaller than that green one. Don't you burn me. I'm going to move while it's hot. Move while the iron is hot. it down in there. And then we're just going to take these little ends here and kind of pinch them in just a little bit. I needed to get straight first. I got to quit what I'm doing first and let it dry. Don't start pinching the ends yet. Get all the strings off. trying to get it to get tight without being too big. I don't know if I need to do that or not, or maybe I should just leave that be poofed round like that. Maybe that's better. Maybe leave it rounded. Press that down in there. Put the little bow in it, maybe? I was going to put the little bow right there under it and then put some greenery around it. But then again, maybe I should just do what I was thinking about doing. Just puff these up. Kind of pinch it in. Make it work here. Get 
turn it and do this side now. Now you could actually glue it down to make it can hold this shape. But it'll hold this shape if you've got wired ribbon. Come on, you. Quit giving me trouble. Sitting here fighting with a bow, y'all. <laughs> Push that down in there. Push that one down in there, just like that. Now we've got this. Almost looks like Christmas candy, doesn't it? Kind of reminds you of a Christmas candy kind of look to it. Now maybe we should put these on after we put on the wires. I'm just going to put a Glue right there. Let's see, I want this wire to be coming down. Maybe this isn't the right one. Gotta hurry, Janet. There we go. Get that thing off of me. Just a second. There we go. Kind of curl it a little further. Put that back right there. There with him. I'll hold that up for a second, keep it out of that. Get in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe turn it this away a little. Fight with it a little bit. Why not? Has its own thoughts about how it wants to be placed on here, I suppose. But I'm gonna fight back. It's gonna go on there the way I'm putting it. <laughs> Let's put another little bit over here. On the back of this leaf. Maybe put it down underneath that one. A 
got the leaves on it here. I'm still deciding if I'm going to put this on it or not. And the only reason I was even thinking of using it is because how it's got the little bit of red right on the inside of the watermelon. And this has got a little bit of red right on the inside of the bow. And then I was going to also use it as my hanger. So I thought it might look pretty if I put it just like that. I still think that might look pretty if I just put that just like that. one pretty flower. I could push it down more. Mm. Nope. I think I kind of like it pooped up better. Poopy layer bow. Smashed it all up. Let me poof it back up. Kind of looks like candy ribbon. Candy ribbon bow. I guess that's what you could call it. A candy ribbon bow. Okay, and then we're going to take this. Cut us off a chunk of it here. Careful, that's hot. Unplug my glue gun. I got glue everywhere. <laughs> I got glue everywhere. All right, guys. This is a different kind of pizza pan door hanger. I hope you enjoyed this. Just a little bit different than the other one. So now we've got... I'm afraid to almost hold that by the top yet. It's not quite dry. The calendar sheet. And then the napkin. I think they both turned out really cute. Thanks for joining me. I will see you again real soon. Bye.